Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Driver Genius USB Type-C cable. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. So this isn't just any plain old USB cable. This is what I would consider more of a high performance cable. This supports 40 gigabits per second data transfer, 8K at 60 hertz video, and 240 watts. So that's the maximum wattage that can be passed by a USB at the time of this recording. So this is going to support USB 2, USB 3.2, and Thunderbolt 3. So let's get this open. So here we have the cable. It has USB type C on both ends, and then it has this braided nylon sheath on it. So that's going to make it very abrasion resistant. So if this is rubbing on the side of a table, it's gonna resist rubbing right through the cable and ruining it. Also has strain relief on both ends. So this is a very durable cable. You can just see how thick it is. Let me get a measurement on it. So it's around 70 inches long. So this supports up to 240 watts charging. So this should work with pretty much any laptop, tablet, phone charger, even the highest wattage chargers. So I'll plug that into my USB charger here. And I'll test it with my Nintendo Switch, which supports USB Type-C charging. So I'll plug that in there, and there that is charging. So this would be a perfect cable to charge something like a Switch, but also like a Chromebook, a MacBook, Surface, PC, laptop, the iPads that use the USB-C charging, or Android tablets that use the USB-C charging. So the Switch isn't going to reach that 240 watt max, but having the 240 watt capacity will future-proof me for future devices. So another nice thing about this is you can pass video through this. So the Switch is capable of outputting video on USB Type-C. So I don't have a USB Type-C monitor, but I do have a video capture device that allows for USB video in. So I'll plug that in here. I'll plug the other end into my monitor using this. So this is going to work essentially the same as a monitor with USB input. So I do need to run power to this and I can turn the switch on. And now we have video passing through to the monitor. So actually this won't work with these connected. Now it's working. Now I'm zoomed into my screen here and you can see it has a lightning bolt next to the battery. So this cable is currently doing double duty. My capture card is sending power through to the switch, and then the switch is sending video back down through the USB cable into the capture device. So in a similar situation, this could be a MacBook Pro and this could be a monitor, and the monitor could be powering the MacBook Pro while the MacBook Pro is sending video to the monitor. So this is a great cable to use with something like a MacBook. So this can also support high-speed data transfer. So to test that out, let's switch on over to my Mac Mini. Okay, so here I have the cable plugged into this Thunderbolt 3 hard drive enclosure. So this is set up for my backup. So if I look under system information, here we can see it's connected at Thunderbolt 3 speeds up to 40 gigabits per second. Unfortunately, I can't do a speed test on this because the backup drive is read-only, but I can run a backup on it and you can see how fast the backup will run. So here we have the backup drive and I'll force a backup on it. So I couldn't tell exactly, but I think it was around 500 gigabytes that it just backed up. And it did that very quickly. So that's a little sampling of what this cable can do. We were able to power device, we ran video through it, and we were also able to run data through it. Now I only used a fraction of the power carrying capabilities. This will go up to 240 watts. And I only used a fraction of the video capabilities as this will go up to 8K at 60 hertz. Now I did use a lot of the data capability of this as it was connected at 40 gigabits per second. Although the limiting factor could have been the drive itself. I benchmarked that drive when not using it as a backup and it is a very fast drive. The downside is the cable is very short, so you have to have it sitting right on top of the computer itself. When you add a cable like this, it allows you to put that wherever you want. So that's the Driver Genius USB Type-C cable. So if you're looking for a USB-C cable that can max out all the specs, I think this is a great option. I've been working with computers for a long time, and it still amazes me that you can use one cable to pretty much run everything. So if you had this plugged into a modern laptop and plugged into a display that supports USB Type-C, this could power your laptop, it could send video to your display, and also it could run USB ports on your display. I also really like the quality of the Driver genius products they seem to be very well built so i think they're a good investment so that's all i'm going to cover in this video thanks for watching goodbye